Okay, dear, let us see what is there in this question. A ray of light is incident on the flat side of a semicircular glass block placed in paraffin. So there's a medium paraffin carbon compound so that is here literally and this is the glass block. The ray is totally internally reflected inside the glass block as shown in the figure. So you can just move me a little <laughs> and you can see this is what is happening. So the light is coming from the denser medium to the rarer medium. So it, um, it is the only condition for TIR to take place. Now moving next. The refractive index of the glass is N1 and for uh, the paraffin it is N2. What is correct? So what is correct? So because it is like uh, theta critical they're talking about and this angle, the angle refraction angle is 90 degree. So you can also apply the Snell's law here or you can directly go for the uh, crit crit critical angle condition. I would be showing you the both of things. Let us first of all go for Snell's law. So N1 sine of theta is equal to N2 sine 90 degree. And so sine of theta critical is coming out to be N2 by N1. So theta critical is sine inverse. Anyways, we don't need this. So sine theta critical is N2 by N1. So yes, the answer is coming out to be B. But if we directly want to go there, uh, go for this. So we know that sine of theta critical is 1 divided by n. So this formula would be given there. So let us say uh, sine theta is 1 by n. You have to check your data booklet if it is given there or not. Now this n can be very easily replaced with n2 divided by n1 where n2 has to be denser and n1 has to be rarer. Sorry, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm mistaken here. Sorry. N2 is rarer because they have just named it N2. That is why I was confused. This is now denser. So basically N can be replaced by the refractive index of denser divided by rarer. So it would be in this case, it would be N1 by N2. But in other cases, generally it is N2 by N1. So this can be directly substituted here. So what will be 1 by N? It will be reciprocal of it. And thereby you have this as N2 by N1 clearly. And so, according to that also, you are getting the same answer, that is B. Let us verify the answer from the mark scheme. And yes, the answer given is B, my dear students. So this is how we do this question. If you still have some confusion regarding explanation, please mention that in the comment section. This is Professor Varun. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. All the best. Bye.